worshiping this morning.
so worthy. Your name above all others. So worthy, Jesus. We just welcome you in this house this morning. We love you and we thank you for what you're doing in this house. We love you so much. We can't say thank you enough. Do I? 
Your presence is heaven to me. Oh, your presence is heaven to me.
Hello, there we go. How many of you realize that the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit is the kingdom of God? When the disciples asked Jesus in Acts chapter 1, they said, Lord, when will you bring the kingdom? His response was, Wait until the Holy Spirit comes upon you. When the Holy Spirit comes, the kingdom comes with the Holy Spirit. That's why Paul says in Corinthians, he says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. What that means is there's a whole, whole new government. 
where the presence of God is, there's a whole new authority, a whole new government, and anything can change. Nothing has to stay the same. Anything can change because the Spirit of God, the authority of God, the atmosphere of heaven is in the house. So in his presence, the lame walk, the blind see, the deaf hear, broken relationships are healed. Because of his presence, everything is subject to change. Can we just lift our hearts and our voice again and just, just be thankful for the presence. Invite the presence of the Holy Spirit all around us. And whatever it is that you are facing today, this week, whatever needs to change in your life, submit it to the presence. every circumstance, every situation to the presence. We pray the presence over every situation. We pray the presence of the Holy Spirit over loved ones right now. It's really sense we need to pray for loved ones, children, grandchildren, loved ones that really need a breakthrough. Lord, we release the presence on our family, on our loved ones, on our prodigals. We release the presence over our prodigals today that you will woo them back home. You will woo them back into heaven's relationship. You will woo them by your goodness, that the goodness of God will lead them to change and repentance and renewal and revival. Lord, we release your presence to go forth from this place to the north, south, east, and west and to draw sons and daughters from near and from far. In Jesus' name, we declare it. And Father, we thank you that your presence covers every circumstance, every person. Where's Don Ferrier and Bob Keltner? I see Bob. Y'all come down here real quick. Is Don in the house? No. Nope. All right. We'll just pray for Bob and Don. We'll use Bob as a point of contact. Hallelujah. Bob and Don are going on Tuesday to Honduras to work with Ron and Annette Thiessen. And they're going to be doing some upgrades to the dormitory at New Life Children's Home. And uh, so, yeah, I'll tell a little bit more of that story in a couple moments. But let's just stretch out our hands towards Bob as a point of contact. Father, we just bless them with your presence. Well, we declare that you go before them, you surround them, you are behind them, you're over them, you're under them, you're beside them. And Lord, everything they set their hands to do will prosper. I declare, Father, that your angels have charge over them to keep them safe. No evil will befall them on the way there, on the way home, or while they're there. I thank you, Father, for supernatural productivity 
Lord, that they will accomplish more than what they went there to do. So we bless the work of their hands. We bless them as they, as they work alongside of, of workers, Lord, laborers there in Honduras. Father, that you will establish divine appointments, divine connections, and that their life and their words will be a witness and an encouragement to the lives of those they're working alongside of. Lord, as, as well as just the blessing it is to the kids at New Life Children's Home. So we bless them. We thank you, Father, for the opportunity to send and to serve. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen, amen. Give them a big hand. Thank you, Bob. Turn around, hug somebody's neck, give them a high five, tell them you're glad to see them. And then you can be seated. We're so glad you're here today. Everybody have a good 4th of July. Awesome. Anybody get to see some fireworks? Anybody get to go to follow the flag? Awesome. Sam Brownback's making his way down here to make to share some announcements. As he's coming, I'm going to share one announcement with you real quick about Life Transformation School. We've been talking about this for a couple of months now. It is a foundational course here at the Abbey. You could say it's a prerequisite to everything. It's a 101 course. It's your door of entrance into opportunity for ministry, and it truly is a course to bring transformation to your life. So it is an intense time which over two weekends and includes a very personal, what we call a one-on-one -on -one prayer session where you have opportunity to sit down with the leader and pray through things in your life to bring breakthrough and release and freedom, to shake off hindrances, to bring healing, and just to see God's Father heart connect and encounter you personally. It really is about a personal encounter with the Father heart of God. And so I want to encourage you, our deadline for registration is next Sunday. But please do your pastor a favor. Please register today. If you are at all thinking about going, we really need everybody, if at all possible, to get registered like today because tomorrow we start scheduling out all of those one-on-one -on -one prayer sessions. And they're scheduled out on Monday through Thursday in the week between the weekends. And they are all day long from 8.30 a.m. till we get done and sometimes 9 or 10 p.m. at night. And so every couple hours there's another scheduled appointment. And some of those will be here at the Abbey. If we get everybody registered and everybody on board, we'll dedicate one or two days to doing all of those sessions with Abbey people here at the Abbey. If we don't get everybody registered, they get scheduled at the Bridge Church in Denton, which means you have to drive all the way up there for those sessions, and I just want to encourage you to get registered so we can do it here, all right? Just saying, all the classes are up at the Bridge Church in Denton, so we start Thursday night for two hours from 7 to 9, and then we come back Friday morning, July 20th, and we go from, I think it's 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. on Friday, all day long. If you work Monday through Friday, that's the only day you have to take off work, and it's well worth the investment. And by the end of Friday, we take the evening off Friday night as well as Saturday night. Saturday, we come back 8.30 to 5.30, and you just invest in your life with the Word of God, the Kingdom of God, and we have lots of people get share testimonies. I just tell you, just sitting in the presence under the Word for that season, stuff just starts washing off of you, and you just start seeing things different, and you start feeling different, and things, you start getting clear in your heart in your thoughts, and you begin to get focused, and stuff just begins to change. 
And then Sunday morning, regular Sunday church, Sunday afternoon, 2.30 to 5.30, we have another session. So after Sunday morning, we'll bug back up there Sunday afternoon, and we'll be done at 5.30. And then the Monday through Thursday is the one-on-ones, and then the Friday night, 7 to 9, and Saturday, uh, 9 a.m., to 3 p.m. Saturday afternoon. We finish Saturday afternoon with a with a big celebration and graduation and a cake. And because I tell you what, you will know what it means to be free when you get to Saturday. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you. Yes, Kyle. Absolutely. It's foundational, but we have people that go four and five times just to sit and soak and get free and just wash the stuff off of the year. I mean, if you realize stuff gets on you through a year. And so just sitting in the presence of God, it just washes stuff off of you. And so we just want to encourage you about that. Take a little bit more time this morning to share. If you're interested and really still don't know, I personally will be at the Welcome Center after church today. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, You can go on to uh, the o2network.org, and it's in your bulletin. The link's all there. You can get to it through the Abbey app, and right, and you can get registered. It'll send you right to the O2 Network registration page, and all there's. It's completely no charge. The only thing that you have opportunity is to arrange your lunches because you won't have time to go off campus. So you can order lunches there and pay for those online, or you can bring your lunch. And if you're gluten-free or something special or have allergies and you want to bring your lunch, just bring your lunch, okay? There's no charge. There will be an offering at the end of the course, okay? Just FYI. Want to give you that information. I'll answer any other questions after service in the foyer at the Welcome Center. And now, give Sam Brown back a big hand as he comes with other announcements. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Yeah, I've had lots of coffee this morning, so I'm going to use my phone to let you know of some of the announcements and events that are coming up. But as always, you can look at your app. Um, Darlene does good also putting the uh, events on Facebook, so check our social media pages and just the physical bulletins. want to make you aware of a couple things. First of all, if you're a new time guest with us, our Abbey Vision team and leadership team just want to shake your hand and get to know you. Uh, We will meet to my left and your right through the double doors in the kitchen dining. Dad will be obviously in the welcome center though. So uh, (laughs) you can track him down there too if you want. Uh, First kind of point to make notice of is guest speaker. Um, July 22nd, we have Chris Dillard coming. um, And if you've visited the bridge, you may be familiar with him if you've gone to any conferences. He's just a great guy. He's got great heart for worship and just a great father's heart. He went through LTS and has an amazing testimony himself. Um, so want to put that on your calendars and make sure and be here. Um, next up, okay. So who has been like, man, I just love Pastor Perrion's teachings. I wish, right? Yeah. I wish, man, I wish there was something in print that she could like, that I could go in deeper with God. I wish there was something physical or maybe even digital, right? Like what if there was something digital that I can download or pay a little bit because it'd be totally worth it. Good news. I have worked with her to develop such thing. So yeah, right? So she now has a website. She's in the 21st century. Um, <laughs> And she also, you can also download her books now, and they are $10 a piece. She has two books. Um, One is fiction, one is nonfiction. Uh, And they both, so Roger Bretherington in England, he's a PhD in psychology, and he, direct quote from him, it's an attack on both, or attack on your senses for both sides of your brain. (laughs) I maybe paraphrase that, but something, something along those lines. Um, so they, the fiction and the nonfiction, they both just help you engage the culture. I read the fiction version. Um, it was just great story. Um, and it really kind of teaches you, um, how God's bigger than just your culture, how the, the rules of culture, um, 
you can't put God in a box, basically. So I really encourage you. Um, these are bookmarks. I will put these at the Welcome Center. They have just kind of the, uh, the physical link and the directions and advertisement for the books and how much they are. So if you want a bookmark, whenever you read your book, for a digital book. There you go. A bookmark, a physical bookmark to remember to download a digital book. There you go. That's irony. <laughs> um, awesome. So those are great announcements coming up. I get to announce also tonight, if you are junior high or high school aged, we will be having youth in our lobby from 6 p.m. Yeah, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So I uh, want to personally invite you to that. We also have, I'm excited to announce our first summer event coming up next week, July 15th. Um, we are going to main event in Alliance. We're really excited about that. Um, so just a couple of details. Um, we, we're, we're going to main event in Alliance. We're going to meet there at 6 p.m. We're going to meet there at 545 if you, as a student, um, are not able to get transportation there, me, Julia, or Kylie will be at the Welcome Center after church as well to kind of coordinate rides, carpooling. We can meet here and stuff. We would just need to get kind of a signature if you're going to try and ride with us. It is $17 a head. If you, as a parent, want to donate in the offering towards that, um, just designate it or put it in on an envelope or bring it next week. Uh, or get with us on social media and we can work something out. We don't want that to be a limiting factor. So we want everyone to go if they can. It's going to be a great time. Um, details, more on that. See me, Julia, or Kylie after service and we'll get it sorted out. I think that's all the announcements. Thank you. Pastor Paul's coming back. I think I need one of those bookmarks for my digital book too. Anybody ready to give today? I'm going to just share one quick word, and then we will pray, dismiss the kids, and let you give, okay? We, I just want to share this testimony. How many of you remember the first, of, the first Sunday of June, every first Sunday of the month, we do Mission Sunday, and we highlight a different missionary. So Cliff and Dom, they pick our missionaries from month to month. So they picked Ron and Annette Thiessen, New Life Children's Home, in, for the month of June. And so they just shared a little bit about what they're doing and what they've done and, and gave you guys an opportunity to give into their ministry over and above regular tithes and offerings. So you guys did that, and approximately pretty close to eight, uh, $1,900 came in. Praise the Lord. What we didn't know, but the Holy Ghost knows, is that like the week after that, the social services have started a new campaign in helping all of the orphanages throughout Honduras. And they came in and did an inspection of the dormitory for New Life Children's Home. As a result of the inspection, they left a list of upgrades that needed to happen, specifically in the younger boys' bathroom that that needed to be upgraded in the, the younger, like the three- to eight-year-old boys' dormitory needed to be upgraded. And so that they left that list, and so Ron and Annette said, okay, we've got to, we've got to address this situation. They didn't have funds set aside for it. Wait for it. We were sending a team to Nicaragua. All of that got change because of the political unrest in Nicaragua. Keep praying for that. Lech Heflin did message me this morning that last night they were having gunfire in Matagalpa in the streets. And so just keep it all in prayer. He's coming home in a week or two, Cynthia. Wednesday. He's coming home in a day or two. Uh, and uh, so he'll be home for a season. So let's just keep praying for Nicaragua. So our focus shifted, and now Don Ferrier and Bob are going to Honduras to do the work. And we were able to send that $1,900 to cover all the materials on that project. Isn't that awesome? 
So that's what the Bible talks about in terms of Jehovah Jireh. The word Jireh is the Lord not only provides, it's the Lord sees ahead and makes provision. So he saw the need before we knew about it, and he used us to make provision for the need before the need arose. And if he'll do that for them, he'll do it for you and I. So whatever situation you face and whatever need you have, he's already seen that need ahead of time. He's made provision, and it's just a matter of realizing, recognizing the provision that's waiting for the need that you have. Amen? I needed a little more amen on that one. Amen? All right. So... Let's take our offering. Let's pray over our offering. Father, in Jesus' name, we declare today that we truly are a blessed people. We're blessed coming in, blessed going out. Everything we set our hands to do it prospers because we are blessed as your sons and daughters. You bless us to make us a blessing to the nations. I declare, Lord, any and every need represented in every household here today I declare that there's already provision. You've seen ahead, you've made provision, and I speak for matching. <laughs> I pray for the match of the need to the provision, of the provision to the need. Reveal it, release it, and match it in Jesus' name. And if you're in agreement with that over your life, say amen. Amen, amen. and let's dismiss our kids.